Welcome back. Nearly 33 years after retired Judge Neil Khan Kanju was shot dead by terrorists, a state investigation agency in Jammu and Kashmir sought information from the general public to unearth the larger criminal conspiracy behind the killing. Kanju had sentenced Jammu Kashmir Liberation Front founder Mohammad Makbul Bhatt to death in the 1960s in a case related to the murder of a police officer Amar Chand. He was shot dead by terrorists in November 1989 and was among the prominent Kashmiri pundits to be targeted by the JKLF at that time, helmed by Yasin Malik, who could face uh, murder charges in this case as well. Listen in to a soundbite or a reaction coming in from Ganju's family, his granddaughter, in fact. Indian's government recent decision to revisit the 1989-90 Kashmiri Hindu genocide cases after 34 years evokes a mix of emotions for me. Among these cases, the first one to be reopened is of my beloved grandfather, Justice Neil Kanganju, who fell victim to JKLF terrorists on November 4th, 1989. This decision has reignited in me a sense of optimism and for my community as well. This optimism had waned over the past 33 years as we longed for people to finally hear, acknowledge, empathize, and grasp the ordeal that we Kashmiri Hindus have gone through. Despite the pain of reopening the old wounds, the underlying hope remains that justice will prevail. It's about time that world paid attention to the atrocities committed on Kashmiri Hindus, on individuals and on a community at large, categorizing it as a genocide. All right, I'm joined in by Gursimran Swing, uh, live from Jammu. Gursimran, uh, this is really going to, in some ways, uh, take care of uh, old wounds. Uh, uh, what's really happening on the ground? What process has been followed since the notification came out yesterday, if you can share with the viewers? Sheikh, we have seen that it was uh, one and a half year back when the Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir, followed by the DGP, Dilbag Singh, said that the cases, if needed, will be reopened. And now it has started. It uh, The killing of Justice Ganju was one, one of those uh, which started the process of exodus of the Kashmiri Pandits. Uh, he was among the first Kashmiri Pandits who were killed brutally because he served the justice. He uh, gave the death sentence to Makbul Bhatt for the killing of the CID officer in 1968. And now the CID wing of the Jammu and Kashmir police which is the Special Investigation Agency, has reopened the case and has sought the public uh, uh, to share the uh, details, whatever the information they have with the state investigating agency. Also, we are getting to know that the SIA has also constituted a special team that will be headed by a DYSP rank officer. The overall mo uh, probe is being monitored by the special DG R. R. Swine, who heads the intelligence wing of Jammu and Kashmir. So now this is going to be a, a fast-track investigation because uh, there are many evidences that are available available in the public domain, be it the confession of Yasin Malik on various public platforms or the documents that are available with the Jammu and Kashmir police because the case was initially registered in 1989 itself. But since then, there was nothing much done to the case and a closure report was filed because there were many pressures on the uh, police and the investigating agencies at that time. And the conditions were also not suitable. But now the case is being reopened and is in advanced stage. We are getting to know that the evidence collection is taking place. Right, Guru Simran. All right. Uh, road to justice uh, once given a starting push rolls on of itself. Uh, that note uh, 